Hello everybody, welcome back to Couple Gaming. Today we're trying out Homestead Arcana. Let's start the game. Second time is a charm. We have a lot of new save games. We shall name our character. Easy, we have body types. We have boobs or no boobs, skin color and other things like that. As you can see, boobs or no boobs. Boobs or no boobs, boobs or no boobs. You, sh you left without boobs, just so you know. Yes. Now that that's much of, much of a difference. It's still a goddamn flat as a board, but... We got we got to work with what we can work, and now let's choose our main <coughs> hair. Plane is already selected. I'm not gonna question. Uh, you just right click it. You you just stop trying to squeeze the character. Just click a hair. Told you, I don't know if it's in beta or not, but it's full of bugs. <sighs> yeah, perfect hair. Let's just change the hair color. Amazing hair color. So, full of bugs at the moment. Not looking promising. Let's hope it's actually better than uh, what we just saw. Okay. Let's confirm. And we can begin our amazing journey. A fox sits loading in the background. It's running in the background. I don't know, it should be like with adventure, farming, uh, combat, uh, RPG style, semi-open world. I don't actually remember all the specific to this game. It just looked interesting in the trailer. It, it almost looked like... Um, like definitely a game. So yeah, it looked like a game. Yep, the loading is uh, definitely creeping up on the... One thing to crash, so that's good. Just so you know, don't type, don't touch anything while the... Whatever the fuck is that? The Fox, okay, Skybound Games, you definitely need to take you... To put your shit together, this is uh, not cool. Serenity Forge as well. Get your shit together. The world. Matter of fact, we used to live all over the surface of the earth, in scattered outposts, in bustling cities. Whether it was by divine punishment or by consequence of human greed, we lost all those things. And more. These days, folks live on barren mountaintops, fearing the day the miasmous fog rises high enough to poison what little land there is. Certainly, there were a brave few who tried to stem the tide, but they paid dearly for granted with nothing in return. No, there is little hope for long-term survival. Instead, towns like Little Rock endure to thrive as much as they possibly can. With the time they have left, they establish initiatives like the Homestead Arcana Program, which places witches of age at lower elevations so they may cultivate plants for back home. With the lack of viable land, this means witches settle right next to the border where the miasma lies. Though Little Rock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all costs. For fear of death, or worse. I'm gonna say it right now, the voice acting was not that bad. I liked it. Very... I guess. Oh, look, a cat. <laughs> yep, we got everything. We got the cat. We got a retarded character that looks... Of 
the cat is talking. I repeat, the cat is talking. Sabrina the witch is around here somewhere. I repeat, the cat is talking. The cat is goddamn talking. And the camera is moving indeed. Yeah, push him off the cliff. Space? No space. Map? Have anything? Jesus Christ. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> that looks nice. Okay, let's see. Recipes. Inventory. Health, hunger, mana. Okay, objective. Long book. Ah. Okay, all good. Let's go. Let's see. Horrible movement. Horrible movement. Yeah, especially lagging. Even though the game automatically put us on everything on high, so let's see if it's. Uh, yeah, you you had an F option to shovel something. Yeah, that's a very fluff. I guess that's a very hairy tree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hairy, hairy indeed. Very hairy, very treeish. Yeah. Very tree very and hairish. So we can call it the tree hairish. The hairish tree. Yeah, the hairish tree. The tree with the hair. Yes, game. Stop sucking your own hairy tree. I got you. We've seen it. I swear to fucking God we've seen it. Do you have something to say, cat? That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly changed. Well... Except for all that miasma. Yeah, and Matilda's old homestead is somewhere in that canyon. Of course, it's covered in miasma now. Who knows what's left? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but I've only been back for a week, you know? I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. So the first right is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, you'll need to start off with a tent. Not the most sturdy of structures, but eh, gotta start somewhere. The splashable place can only be placed in certain and ideal spots. Standard issue tents for homestead are can program simply shelter the first step of the building homes in the wild. <sighs> Tap to open your inventory. <sighs> A to build. Must be at station. Uh, on the left. On the left. On the left. Oh. Place it with a B. Yeah, pretty much. I, I don't know. Okay, good for my Aunt Matilda. You'll need to plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little like favorite. Corn on the cob! The humble beginnings of a stack of corn. Few sprouts are poking through the bag already. Just need to F. I got it. And then click. Oh, that's lift mode. Nope, never mind. No, that's in the incorrect way. Uh, plan the corn seedling. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing it's over there ish. No, it's on the right. On the right. On the right. On the right. It's. Damn, you're blind as a fucking bat, I swear to God. Yeah, just a second, the wife is struggling over here. She's literally running away from the planting. She has found it. Good job. I would like the animation, though, to be like, uh, you know, planting where it's supposed to be planting. 
Huh? Or you disagree? Inspect it. Press 1 to water a plant. Press 1 again to stop watering. Watering a plant once per day increases growth. Water it. Oh! What the... F uh, we do not know how to channel. Channel before? Channeling is that thing you do where you pull mana from the earth and guide it through the plant, making it instantly grow. You know, channeling. Now stop making me look like a fool and show me you can channel. That guy has an attitude problem. Channel it! Start channeling. Into channel it. I know. Ah. Is earth mana is attracted to your cursor. Guide the yellow targets to move it up the plant. As mana is absorbed, the target will move on the part selected. Up, 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 up. Channel by clicking it. Now go up with it. Channel until it's fully grown and ready to harvest. Press 2. Again, I don't know. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Try it again. So we channel it. And then channeling it. Start channeling it. And then collect all the mana. <clears throat> and then channel it. And go up, 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 up. There you go. Finally did it. And the corn is... When a yield is ripe, you can harvest it and not too active. Se select the yield using click and drag it off the plant using click. Oh my god, you're channeling it again. <laughs> I know, I guess exit the corn. Oh, there you go. Materials for crafting. Okay. Good channel, huh? It fucking took forever to channel, boy. All things in moderation, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess. And now time for the threat. A witch by building a cauldron and then brewing a spell potion. But technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a witch, right? I appreciate the cat. It's a home. Do it's a homeboy right there. He knows what to say. Theoretically, no, it's not. So we can just make it. Can you get out of the plant? I just exit core. <laughs> okay, let's go to the. What's that? What's that over there? Ish. Yeah. On the there? Ish. Yeah. Yes. This. <coughs> what the fuck is that? Some sort of trading. Yeah, it looks like a trading. Okay, let's find the place the workbench. So you need to go into an inventory and then place it. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to, I'm not trying to be a dick, but that tent is definitely not gonna hold out not even one element of the weather. That's all I'm gonna say. You look at that, right? That shit is definitely not holding anything out. It's made out of blankets. Yeah, it's made out of fucking blankets. But are you sure that's the best place for it? Try moving it to a better spot. He is right. Move and return to your inventory uh, by entering move mode F. So the shower, bit much. Just go and lift. I think that's just to show you how exactly to move it, so you yeah, can just place it in the same shit. Not sure if that's a good spot for it either. No matter. If you anyway, the pauldron. You'll need wood for the foundation, lavender for purification, and metal for the, well, cauldron. You can get some of those things in the meadow to the north, but that's blocked off. All the ingredients you need. <coughs> okay. 
thank God he has every ingredient we need. It's not like the one, it's not like he's the one who, you know. Okay, let's craft it. Uh, crafting recipes, basic cauldron, and then craft. And then craft by holding E. Yeah, we crafted. We have five seconds remaining. Four, three, a four, a four, a blah. It's done. Collect single craft or collect stack by E. Perfect. <clears throat> Very nice. All it needs now is something in brewing in there and you'll be a real witches, bitches. <laughs> With what you currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's alright. Ripple is plenty useful. Oh, right. You need silver. Before you ask, I do have some on me, but uh, these will be the last of the handouts. Makes sense. I appreciate still some hands out to start, right? <coughs> and to put a cauldron. Mm -hmm. Let's put a cauldron somewhere. Okay, perfect. Quadrant is being placed. And let's go and see the potions. And ripple spell potion details. What does it do? What does it do? One of the first spell and language learners is useful as it is to craft. Okay, perfect. Take the potion. Spell potion highlights item creature on the first spells. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And Ripple is great for finding stuff. So this will be a bestseller for sure. Anywho, you've just completed the initiation rites. So you're now officially a part of the Homestead Arcana program. Congratulations. Your reward lies in... Uh, well, no. But you have to understand the miasmatides are unpredictable. When I hit it, a week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. What I'm saying is, I think your prize is in the miasma. Kid, it's the miasma. The air is pure poison, and the things that live in there. I was hoping it wasn't going to come to this. But not so soon, anyway. When you're ready. Meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? Sleep at your shelter to pass the time and heal. Upgrade your shelter to heal more. You can only sleep at night. How can we upgrade? You know, I just go to the... Yeah, just go to talk to Heckleberry. We don't need sleep. No? Where the fuck is the border? I don't think that's the border. Oh? Huh? Oh, you might be right. You're going the right way. Look, fireflies. I mean, graphically speaking, it's not horrible, at least on the character side, it's horrible, but yeah, it doesn't look bad. As soon as you walk through that veil, you're going to be breathing the asthma, and you're really going to feel it in your lungs. That's why it's important that you find the reward as soon as possible. It's in a crate not too far from here, but it might be hard to see it. Drinking a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better. Come on, give it a sip. Okay, let's sip some potions. One of the first spells. Come on. You feel the sweep shot. Nom, 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 nom. All right. You should be able to cast it now. Once a spell is equipped, it will last a certain amount of time. Begin casting a spell with one. Use the same input to end the spell. Okay. Let's go! Oh! Are you smoking crack? Let's just go back and cast Ripple, one. No. Okay. Don't stay too long in the miasma. Go and look at the cat. How is it big and blue? Oh! Yeah, never mind. He's yellow, though. <clears throat> 
Okay, the first going into the miasma. We're not blocked, okay? Used to clear pathways blocks by pink porous crystal and incredibly rare items. I don't think it's that one. No, go back, go back, go back. Yeah, we're almost dying. You see the heart up there on the left? Your blood pressure. Are you sure? Then maybe it's some asthma talking. Either way, we need to get you some food. The box had blasting powder, right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Over there, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat. I'm gonna give them. Uh, I'm gonna give them at least for the voice acting propping. I'm not gonna lie; it's a very well done voice acting. I really love the first intro in the game. And the, and the cat is very funny sometimes. <laughs> kind of a moron, but funny, I guess. Of course. So, use the batting auto to unblock the power. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's the cat. It's a cat. Jesus Christ, I thought it was a, stung, a skunk or something. Oh! You see now, there's wild plants everywhere. I bet you can even find a bush of metal if you look hard enough. But first, you need to find an apple. If only to make your familiar worry less. <laughs> Out in the wild, you'll find resources that you cannot cultivate on the ho homestead, such as wood, metal, and wild produce. Keep an eye peeled. You just, bro, you have the uh, magic potion. Just want it. You have for more seven minutes. Look, an apple right there. Okay. Yeah, compost. compost. Boost the speed of the plant. Oh, look. Okay, you can just. What the. F Compost speeds up plants. Go to add compost, interact with the plant using E and press 3 and the... What? what? Whoa, 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 wait a second. You can move the... Oh, drag the drag the tree branch. Out of... Can you still drag the tree branch? Yeah, I did. Huh. Okay, I give them props for this. This is quite an interesting mechanic. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm down. The yellow bar indicates hunger. Over time, the bar will decrease. When it's empty, you lose most of your health and long, no longer be able to... Can you just take to fucking one second? Jesus. Look. Just, uh, just use the... Oh, look right there is something metal, I guess. Oh, it's a journal. Home has consumed my thoughts of late, perhaps because I spent the same number of moons out here as I did during my upbringing in Little Rock. I could never get them to understand why I applied to the program. They're still trying to get me to come home, but I cannot. I don't want to. So much work to be done. The wilds are more of my home now, Little Rock, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah. It's a dude that lost his marbles. That's it? Eat the apple. You should eat the apple. And now click again to harvest. Okay. <coughs> now you should eat the apple. We're oh, going in the inventory so you can do the quest. Oh no. <coughs> you should keep looking around here, by the way. Lots of wood, metal, various herbs and spices. Now, I understand that you might want to explore the miasma some more, but there are other things you can be doing. For example, Abraham should be coming back any time now. And when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. And, oh, I think you have mail. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there. <coughs> he has lost his marbles. Let's see if we can find something decent over here. Where is the metal bush? Yes. Oh, right there. On the left, on the left, on the left, on the left. Do you see it? Oh, look, there's something there as well. Oh, it's another one. Can I go in the water? It is. No, okay. Well, stop the blue shit. It's... Oh. Just move it first. And... What the fuck? Look, look, look. There's the thing is out there. Grab them. No problem. 
more down there, do you see it? See? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And that's it. Yeah. Okay, so they didn't lie when they said actually metal bushes. But that looks more like a semi hut or something like that, right? Yeah, kind of. Uh, kinda. I mean a little. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, look, a bush. Or a tree. What do they have? Oh, pick up compost. What do they have here? Oh, look, they have some tin cans on them. Do you see them? They harvest. Oh, we harvest our first wood. The cat is singing in the background. Can you? Oh, look up there at that. Perfect. How about those little trees? Uh, the branches, the small ones. Because I saw you could. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. The pink one. Pink one. Yeah. We can move them. Oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, where are we going? We don't know. Jesus, the miasma is over there on the background. It's quite a lot, right? Yeah, so the moment we're gonna reach back to our civilization, we're gonna stop the first episode, and I really hope you liked it. Uh, we're gonna make catnip. catnip. Hey, it looks nice though. Yeah, it looks very nice. <clears throat> it actually looks like a cat. Yeah, I appreciate it. So yeah, um, I really hope you like this episode, uh, and if you do like it, please leave a like and a comment. And we're gonna try to make about three episodes out of this game. I think all three of them, we're going to try to make them about 28 minutes or the other one maybe a little bit earlier, a little bit less time consuming because this was still the tutorial. Or we're going to come back when we find something more uh, amazing to show or anything like that. Well, it depends on the situation, to be honest. But first, let's just go back and sleep the night away to save. Right? And then we're gonna read the letter from the mailbird and open the parcel bot. And that's gonna be like the for the second uh, for this like the last couple of seconds in the episode. Okay, let's see the sleeping mechanics in this. Oh my fucking foot. Okay, now let's uh, read a letter from the mailbox. Look, the cat is staying right there. Okay. Oh. Easy, I'm so proud of you without folks like you joining the homestead. I'd fear a little rock livelihood. Instead, we managed to not only survive by tribes. Pop, Zeb and I are all going to miss you, but I know you're doing very important work, so we'll support you as best that we can. To start, I sent over one of our favorite pumpkin pie, as always. Yeah. Well, it looks nice, though. Damn, it looks very nice. <coughs> and we need to read the letter from the mailbox. The right there. Okay. Oh! This is a reminder that your post of the homestead arcane programs to deliver supplements goods as required by Little Rock Council. Occasionally, my eyes where a shortage occurs and there's a delicate balance of core potion material and other supplies. Under such circumstances, we'll pay double for the completion of that job. You're doing Little Rock a great service. Remember where you came from? Homesteader is what all this is for. Consumer William Narrow. Never know what you'll get, and um, make sure to take advantage when Abraham's here, so you can sell your produce for silver. Wait, I, I already said that, didn't I? Look, I know you want to go back into the miasma. Just remember when you're in there that the town still needs you. When you want to go back in there, talk to me. I'll give you a device that'll help you breathe easier. Okay, so thank you very much for watching the first episode of Homestead Arcana. Now watch the beautiful gate tree, the hairy gate tree, and now turn around to face towards us. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day and see you guys on the part two where we're going deep into the miasma. We're gonna go balls deep. We're gonna go balls deep in that miasma. <laughs>